that's frustrating sometimes is getting the leg out of the actual lot. And that's it's going to go back to the position we've been talking about the whole time. So if you get stuck in this position with the ankle, we've got to put a lot of pressure on this person. We've got to, the way that I like to pass it, I like to make the guy want to be somewhere else besides here. So when we were doing all that movement earlier where the pressure was on the person's face, a lot of times you get to those passes, if you do them right, the person's like, man, I don't want to be here anymore. Just go ahead and pass, go somewhere else. Because the face is all scrunched up and everything else. So we're here. Again, we're in this position. You got the face here. This is important. We get the face looking away. Bring it down. Come up to quarter mile. Okay. Now, once I'm here, guys, when we get ready to pass. A couple things I want to try to do is I want to try to get go under the neck, bring my hand under his arm, and this hand is coming in. I'm not locking my hands together because at any point, if you've got this, some crazy bridge and you need to post, you got it here. But the hand is still pushing up against the back of the arm and helping support this one, keeping him tucked in. This head and arm control sucks. And again, at the same time, his face is facing whichever side of the legs locked in. Next, my head, I'm gonna put my head down to the mat above his. Guys, when you do this, go go kind of high. You're gonna go almost high up to where you feel like you're losing the position, but I promise I'll show you it's not gonna happen. So again, we get here, I go down, and I put my forehead down the mat. Right now, like he's on the center of my, the front of my chest here, so I'm not down here. It's up here for that pressure down. How's that feel, Chris? Okay, good. Now from here, we start to push down and pry on this leg. And again, I've got this downward pressure coming from my hips all the way down into his face, and I'm kind of driving down into it. Now what this does is this gives us a lot of good pressure, and at the same time, it's making it really uncomfortable for him. So Chris is at this point where the only thing holding me here is his ankle, and he's probably thinking, man, all i got to do is let go of this ankle, and he'll get up off my face. So once we pry open, Right here, push the legs open with your legs here and kind of prime open, and then go right under the hips here. Now the cool part about this is if he's here and he tries to, the, the, a lot of times the last ditch effort for this guy, hold the ankle for me, will be a bridge. We're so high right now, bridge up for me. Try to bridge on your feet. Right there. Because our body's not loaded down here, we're not gonna, use the bridge doesn't really work that well. Okay, let's turn the other ankle here. All right. One more time, Chris. Thank you for being a <laughs> trooper. All right, so again, we've got to this quarter mount position. We're in half guard, nice tight half guard. Again, get the face over here. If it's not here early, just move your weight around so his face is over here. Bring that knee through, pass the arm under so you got this controlled and this hand just comes up here and can help secure. Put that forehead down on the mat. Start to put that pressure on the guy's face. Again, because I'm not loaded back here anymore, if he bridges here, just use your hips, push up here. There's a lot of movement right there. But once I get up here, when he bridges, there's nothing, okay? Nothing to worry about. So again, he's holding onto that ankle. Okay, I've got the hand here, forehead's down. Again, we're putting tons of pressure on top of his face, and I'm prying out, and again, he's having this point where you're putting so much pressure on him that he just, again, he probably just wants to get out of here. So a lot of times, he'll either let go or he'll try to bridge. Boom, keep the legs open with your shins here, and then right under the hips. And now you've got a good position where we can either start to attack like a key lock position or Go for a head and arm choke. So, you guys have any questions on that pass? How you feeling, big guy? All right, and guys, and because this pass sucks so bad, just do about three reps a piece and switch back and forth. We'll finish up with this, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Again, guys, with that pass, um, as I was telling like Tom and, and Patrick over there, that's the thing I've told some of the other guys too, that's the kind of pass where you stay tight on that person, you keep them really close, put pressure on them, and you basically make them want to give you the pass instead of you having to take it. Because if you get a guy who's really good at like a deep hack or something, where they can hang onto that ankle, it's, it's hell trying to get it out of there. So put the pressure on them and just chip away at them. I think we've all been in, in training for where we were like, I don't want to be here anymore. And you kind of like let someone get somewhere, right? You have like mentally break, you have that little voice on your shoulder that's like, hey, you just, just let go, stop fighting, just, just let it happen, right? So try to make that happen to your, your opponent when you're doing that pass.